A prominent anti-marijuana congresswoman was found to be one of the largest holders of cannabis stocks in Congress. And Virginia medical marijuana patients can now purchase flower products. This is Gary with Verahill, keeping you up to date with the latest in cannabis news. Republican Virginia Fox has made six investments into Altria Group Incorporated. Altria Group Incorporated owns Marlboro, one of the biggest tobacco companies in the world. Altria invested $1.8 billion in 2018 to license cannabis producer Kronos Group. This gave the firm a 45% stake that is expected to grow. Congresswoman Fox investments likely made her the largest holder of cannabis stocks in Congress. Although this is hard to verify as Congress members are not required to disclose the exact amount of investments. In December 2020, Fox voted against the Marijuana Opportunity Reinvestment and Expungement Act, a bill that would decriminalize marijuana at the federal level. Another politician got themselves in hot water after the vote. It was reported that Kentucky Democratic Representative John Yarmouth bought between $1,000 and $15,000 worth of stocks in three major cannabis companies. Critics are making note of the conflict of interest. Next in news, Virginia medical cannabis patients can now purchase flour. Flour is now available to patients who can purchase up to four ounces a month. The new rules took effect September 1st and prior to these reforms, patients only had access to processed products from the oil of the plant. Presently, cannabis possession of up to one ounce of flour is allowed for adults 21 and older. Cannabis sharing and consumption is legal in private spaces. These reforms have led to a 90% reduction in arrests related to cannabis in the Richmond and surrounding areas. And lastly, the St. Regis Mohawk tribe in New York are set to get the first marijuana retail license in New York. Former New York Governor Andrew Cuomo signed an adult use legalization bill into law in March, but state regulators are still being appointed and sales aren't expected until 2022. The tribe has passed an ordinance and is establishing their own regulations. Adults 21 and older are now permitted to grow up to 12 plants for personal use, and the ordinance set up a licensing process for marijuana businesses. So go ahead and like this video and give us a follow at Barrier Hill to stay up to date on the latest in cannabis news. Thank you for watching.